Okay, this is a video that Sugar Tits recommended. You can tell by how fucked up it is. <coughs> and of course it involves dicks. Man cuts off his own penis in sleep while dreaming he was chopping meat. Oh God, fuck me. Why do you do this to me? Quick sponsor, then we'll talk about this chopping his dick off. You're more likely to have your data compromised than ever. In 2020 alone, 500,000 user accounts belonging to a popular video conferencing app were stolen and sold on the deep web. Usernames and passwords were sold for as low as a penny. Relying on big tech companies to protect you is no longer an option. That's why I'm such a big advocate of Virtual Shield. Virtual Shield is a no-log VPN that helps protect your private data from hackers. Protecting yourself takes seconds and works on all your devices. Try Virtual Shield risk-free for 30 days and receive 50% for life by going to virtualshield.com slash bear or using the link below. Okay, so where were we? Man cuts off his own penis in sleep while dreaming he was chopping meat. Warning, contains graphic content. Oh, you don't say. A man in Ghana has cut his own penis and scrotum off in his sleep while dreaming that he was chopping meat, waking up in horror before calling his neighbors for help. Wait, what I don't understand, right, is how did he chop off his whole dick and his whole ball bag and not wake up before that? Like, if you f***ing stabbed me in the dick while I was asleep, I'd go, ah, f***. Yeah, and but that's what he probably, like, didn't wake up until he'd done it. Oh, you reckon he did it, like, really quickly? Yeah, like a cleaver, like, dang! Oh, f***. Yeah. Oh, no. All his dick gone. Uh, Kofi Atta, a farmer from Asin Fosum in South Ghana, suffered critical injuries in the incident on the 12th of August. After dreaming about slaughtering a goat, <laughs> the 47-year-old woke up in shock after feeling sharp pains coming from his penis and scrotum. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've done some pretty f***ed up things while dreaming about slaughtering goats. <laughs> But I can't say I've ever chopped my dick and balls off. My wife's almost done it a few times. But you sort of settle her down and you go, Hey baby, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you that way. And then she goes, Oh, it's just that time of the month. And you go, Yeah, I, I understand. Just put the meat cleaver down. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Here, let me give you a neck rub. Oh, don't do that. F*** off. Speaking to BBC Pigeon four days later, Atta said, I day, oh, how do you say, I day sit inside chair where I doze off. So I day sleep, I dream, I say the cut meat way the in front of me. That's not me being racist, that's actually what it says. And there's a blurred out picture of him here with his nuts and balls cut off. <sighs> Thanks for this one. This is, uh, this is great entertainment. Atta was taken to hospital for treatment, but said he may need surgery. Oh, you reckon? Which he'll need to raise the funds for. Thankfully, while serious, his injuries are not thought to be life-threatening. Oh my god, it's not. Right now, I de hospital for here. All them, they give me B fluids, then some injections. But they need surgery, he said. Again, not being racist, that's actually how it's written. Uh, I no get money to few ambulance. We go to carry me to Comfort Anyoki Teaching Hospital for surgery. Atta, <laughs> Atta said he has no idea how he came to be snoozing with a knife in his hand. Telling BBC Pigeon, he actually called for help while still dreaming. <sighs> I day sit inside chair where I doze off. So as I day sleep, I dream. Say I day cut meat way the in front of me, Atta added. <laughs> Seriously, this is how it's written. I'll link the article. They actually wrote it like this. I no remember how I carried the knife. Even me, I dare confused. <laughs> when he tried to stand up from the chair, he noticed an intense pain in his genitals. Oh, you reckon? And called out to neighbors to help him, piecing together what he'd been dreaming about. He then realized he had mistakenly cut off his own penis and scrotum. Yeah, I mean, it, it was just a mistake, bruh. And then there's this lovely photo of people cutting up, um, I mean, he's that scrotum or... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just chicken. His wife, Adwara Kunadu, had been traveling at the time and came home to the sheer horror of seeing her husband bleeding, holding his penis. <laughs> what have you been doing? You dirty, dirty f***er. I go away for two days and you cannot help but cut off your penis. 
That's sham. GH1 TV reported that his wife received a distressing call from a neighbor explaining that her husband was bleeding profusely as he had cut off his manhood with a, with a sharp knife. She quickly rushed home and found him sitting on a chamber pot full of blood with his penis in his hand. Hang on. I want to know, was he like holding his cock, like like normal holding your cock, or was he holding his cock away from his cock? It was separate. It was separate? Yeah. Oh. It's like him, chamber pot, blood gushing in the chamber pot, cock over here. And he's holding his cock just like in front of off him. to the right. He's like, yeah. honey, I got off my cock. Yeah. Balls in one, cock in the other. Oh. Anyway, chamber pot. With his penis in his hand. And she brought diapers to support her husband from losing his manhood. Oh, wait, no, it sounds like it was still partially attached. Oh. It was like hanging on by thread. Like by a ball vein. Ah. Oh. And took him to a local hospital for medical attention. Well, that was a good story. Thanks for that, sugar tits. You've enlightened all of us. We're all so much better for having heard that f***ing story. You are? Yeah, can't wait for the next one. Well, now you'll know not to keep a f***ing knife by you when you sleep. Bitch. See ya. Recession, session.